Amande Warriors. Uh, you know what? I'm in Ottawa right now where I grew up and um, I walked by this building. This building is called the Dalhousie, Dalhousie Community Center. Something that was uh, very deep for me because this neighborhood I grew up with where we didn't really have that much my family, you know, uh, refugees had a small house and it was kind of hard to get babysitting and one of the things I remember very clearly was the center because I forgot what age I was but they were able to take us in um, after school pick me up at school and we walk probably like a kilometer or so to come here and they teach you a lot of stuff about people life interactions and I can still see that they have some signs right there you see the sign there for youth between the 12, ages of 12 to 18, free food, free coverage, uh, free advice, people they can work with to help people become better, take on more. And that reflected on me because that's why I do things that I do now, why I help others because you know what, when I was young, when we had nothing at all, people helped us out. People helped us out. Education, food, there's so many in this community nuns, scouts, all these people who are helping me out, giving me an opportunity to learn and grow because I was quite a shy child. And these opportunities help me shape who I am and in a way shapes why I'm trying to give back to the community by helping people become more powerful, more confident in themselves to take on the world. And ideally, taking on the world by helping the world, making a better place, sharing that knowledge. I remember this place, you know, I could see here the schoolyard I used to play in in the background or the, the courtyard of this community center. And one of the other things I really want to share with you is this place shaped me and has shaped a really strong memory in my mind. When I was young, I forgot I was seven years old or something like that. Shy kid, quiet, chubbiest kid in class. People made fun of me, but I still wanted to help people and I still had the, the joy deep inside me as a youth to be connected with people. And we all have that, okay? I think that what happens is we bury it after a while, but we have it deep inside us. And this one moment, this one instant here, really shaped me, and I, I recall it very clearly. Uh, and the instant was, you know, we were walking back and there was this lady who was distraught in like ridiculous turmoils, kind of like out of her mind, scared, lost. And she was Vietnamese descent. She was Vietnamese, didn't speak any English. So the counselors and the, the teachers or whoever were, who were here, the community leaders who were here didn't understand Vietnamese. Right? They didn't know how to speak Vietnamese and she didn't speak any English. And me, I was about seven years old, I had Vietnamese, right? I spoke it. I don't really spoke it much, but I did. So I started just talking to her, trying to calm her down, saying things are okay, don't worry, work it out. And, uh, you know, trying to keep her calm and trying to make her calm. All that she was like crying and bawling and freaking out. Where am I going? Who, who's here? I don't know anybody. I'm so lost. They called the police, they brought the police over and they were trying to talk to her but again, she didn't speak any uh, English, she didn't speak any Vietnamese so I just kept them calling down and then I told them that my dad will be coming to pick me up soon and he can translate and so I kind of like, I call it entertained her but I kept basically kept talking to her, keeping her calm until my dad came and translated and helped find out where she lived and I helped arrange a, a, um, a taxi to take her home, she wasn't lost. And I remember that clearly because that day I got a pin from the police officer, this little, little small pin and this badge for, you know, kind of being a community hero. I didn't know what it was. I was just talking and just sharing as a child and trying to make sure whoever's crying because I was feeling it inside of them. But they were crying, they were sad. And I said, you know, I just wanted to make her happy and not sad anymore. And I remember that pin and I was so proud. I was beaming because it's like really big, burly police officer with a uniform came and said, you know, thanks, good job. And I don't know, that, that, that moment, it defined me a lot because, you know, it reminds me and it gave me pride to help people. I wanted to do that, help people just, you know, and when they're in distress, at the same time, I don't want people to see people sad, right? And that moment, that pride that swelled up in me, you know, said, this is a feel good factor. Now, I will admit, right, over periods of time, I also were trying to sort out my identity and then I be, became very introverted again. but reason why I share this is inside of us we all have a hope and desire to help others hope and desire to um, to to be with people and to, to help and over time we may you know without the proper training without the right guidance get introverted and you saw my photos you'll see my my story that I was extremely introverted and avoid society but at some point I brought this back out recalling these recollections these moments helps me recall who I am fundamentally, what I really want to do, 
And that this type of thing made, gave me a lot of joy and uh, made me very proud. And so I just want to share with this because, you know, about walking by this location at the Hoosie Community Center here in Ottawa, right by Chinatown, down this street right here, oh, brings back so many memories and uh, shares so much. So I just want to share with you guys that, all right, about those moments where, about reflection. Inside of you, you can help people. You have it. You want to. That's who you are. That's that what it is. It, what it means to be human, be a person, but over time we've learned to hide it and, and, and fake it because you know we don't want to hurt, expose ourselves and get hurt. But if you really develop yourself and learn, you can can help each other out, can grow back into that person who can be very powerful and a leader in his community. And never forget the people here in these kind of instances who really give those opportunities to you, who have the patience to share and talk and guide you. It's not easy for them either. So anyways, my name is Kim Lindsay. I just want to share with you that because this is a, an amazing place for me. And uh, catch you guys later.